Hi guys, welcome to this yoga flow. And today I really want you to have an opportunity to release yourself and free yourself. So this is gonna be a practice that is gonna give you the opportunity to be a bit creative, get moving, and I guess take some of your postures and make them look a little different to your normal yoga postures. So we'll be having lots of movement and sort of circular actions and really lots of opportunities to make you feel like you are freeing yourself from your mind and your body. So I really hope you enjoy this one and let's get started. So we're actually going to begin this yoga flow by just standing and starting to loosen a little through the body and get in touch with our breath. So soften through the knees, stand with the feet about maybe just wider than hip width distance apart. And just bring your hands to your belly, close the eyes and focus on your breath. Now I don't want you to be controlling your breath, I just simply want you to be kind of listening in and feeling into that breath. How does it feel today? Are there some things that you could be doing for that breath to help release a little bit of tension, help to free that breath? It might be as simple as slowing the breath down for a little while, controlling it just for a moment so that the body relaxes a little bit more. could also be equalizing the breath. So if your inhale or exhale is particularly short, you might want to take a moment just to try and equalize them so that they're the same count. And now just allow your breath to flow easily and freely without effort. without any constriction. And I want you to set the intention that through this practice, you are going to free your mind and body. So I want you to tell yourself three times, I am going to free my mind and body through this practice. And when you're ready, you're going to softly start to open the eyes. And we're just going to begin by leaving the hands on the belly. That's quite comforting. But just do some little circles. And you can have nice little loose bends through the knees and just circle round. Feel the contact beneath the feet. And just enjoy that for a moment. Then you're gonna circle around the other way. Again, feeling the contact of the ground and the comfort of your hands, just sort of nurturingly pressing, touching the belly. So we're really gonna loosen up the body through this practice to so start to slow that movement. Now we're gonna take a breath in and we're gonna reach the arms up and we're going to breathe out and lower them down. But I really want you to get the legs and the body involved. So as we move, we're going to bend the knees. So take a breath in, sweep the arms down, bend the knees, reach up, straighten in the legs. Breathe out, lower down, bend the knees. Take another breath in, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, come back to standing. From here, we're gonna create a movement that's gonna be a little bit more sort of twisting through this motion. So take a breath in, do the same movement. And then as you breathe out, come down towards the left. Breathe in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, come all the way down through the center. Take a breath in, come up. Breathe out, come down to the right. Breathe in, come back up. Breathe out, come down towards the center. And breathe in, come back to standing. 
From here, I want you to bring your hands to your shoulders. We're going to circle with the shoulders. We're going to get some circling movements. But then again, I want you to bring the knees into this motion. So when we're talking about freeing the body, I want there to be lots of free movement. So feel free to customize this a little bit and make it your own practice. So if something's not quite working for you, feel free to adapt it. So bring the fingertips to the shoulders. We're going to bend the knees as we circle the arms round. So we're moving not only with circles, but also taking that bend at the knee. And as you're taking that bend, just making sure you're almost kind of coming into a mild squat position, so you're sending the hips back. We're gonna do one more. And then we're gonna take that move and we're gonna take it into the other direction. So this time we are gonna be circling the arms forwards. So come back with those arms first of all to then bring them forwards. Nice big circles. And then come back up to the center, lower the arms down. Now we want to get the neck nice and loose. So the first thing I want you to do is just take some motions of basically what you would be doing if you were saying no, but kind of add a figure of eight with it. So just really nice and gentle. Feel free to sway with the body if that helps that movement, or if it's better to be still, equally you can do that. Start to slow that movement down, bring it back to the center. Take a moment, because you may feel a little bit dizzy from that. And then you're gonna bring your left ear down towards your left shoulder. Left arm can reach up, and it can just rest gently onto the right ear. Take a breath in and breathe out. Reach that arm back up, release the neck. We're gonna swap over, right ear comes down to the right shoulder, right arm comes in, presses just gently, rests on that left ear. Take a nice big breath in, and back out. Reach that arm all the way up and back down, taking the neck back to the center. We're gonna just take a moment to also look over the shoulders as well. So taking a moment, softening through the knees, you're just gonna take the gaze over the left shoulder, pause, and then come back through the center, take it off to the right. Come back through to the left, and one more time to the right. The last movement we're gonna do is circling from right shoulder to left. Taking the chin down to the chest and doing a little semicircle. So we're just going to bring it from left to right, right to left. One more time coming back. And then you're going to interlace the fingers in front of you. Now we want to really work out through this thoracic spine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on keeping the hips still for a moment. We'll bring the hips back into the, into the practice shortly. But I want us to get into this thoracic spine, so this sort of mid region of the spine and upper spine. And what I want us to be doing is bringing some movement into that area with the hips fixed. So reach the arms forward, interlace the fingers, and just kind of bring the palms of the hands towards you with fingers interlaced. From here, you're gonna round out through the shoulders, look down, and then lift the gaze, bring the chest forwards. And this movement is coming from the back and the shoulders as opposed to the hips. Doing one more like this. And then let's make that movement a little bit bigger and progress that more. So this time we are gonna bring the hips into this movement and we're gonna connect our breath. So when you're ready, take a breath in, send the hips and the chest forwards. Breathe out, round out through the back, tuck the pelvis under, look down. Breathe in, come forwards. Breathe out, round out, chin to chest. And we're gonna do two more of those. And then come back up to the center. And from here, release the hands, take a breath in, reach up, breathe out, take a bend at the knees, float the hands down and behind you. 
Breathe in, reach up, lifting up through the legs. Breathe out, come back down. Breathe in, coming up. Breathe out, floating down. One more, breathing in. Breathing out, lowering down. From here, stay down for a moment. And what I want you to do is just take the feet a little bit wider. So heel toe the feet, just out a little bit. I'm just going to straighten up my mat. Heel toe the feet just out to the sides a little bit. And then I want you to sway through the body. So you can bring your hands on some blocks or some cushions. We're bending through the legs and we're just adding a little swaying action. So I'm going to turn to the side so I can really show you this action. Head is released, so crown of the head comes down towards the ground or the yoga mat. And you're just swaying from side to side, really freeing and releasing the joints. And then still in that movement through the legs, taking hold of the elbows and then just rocking from side to side with the arms releasing through the upper back. Crown of the head comes down. And you can have a nice little bend through the knees. And you're just breathing here as you gently sway from side to side. A little bit of movement at the knees, but not much. Slow that movement down. Pause and just hold there in the middle. Maybe release the hands for a moment. And then from here, you're going to look up. Send the chest towards the ground. Breathe in. Breathe out, take the chin towards the chest, round out through the shoulders and the back. Breathe in, look forward, send the chest to the ground. Breathe out, chin to chest, round out through the shoulders. You're going to do two more complete breaths here like this. Taking your time. And then from here, we're going to round up through the spine. So just heel toe the feet back into about just wider than hip width distance apart. Tuck the chin in towards the chest and we're going to round up through the spine. And what you want to be doing is working on stacking each vertebra on top of the other. So tuck the chin in towards the chest first of all. And then roll up. Nice and slow. And then bring the neck and head up, last of all. From here, we are going to head back down towards the mat, but just settle and just give your body some little circles. Some little tiny movements. Feel the space around you. Feel that sense of freedom, spaciousness. Maybe rise the arms up if you want to. And then from here, step to the top of the mat. You're going to take a breath in, float the arms up. Breathe out, you're going to send the arms down and back. Breathe in, reach them up. Come back up. Breathe out, float them down. This time we're going to stay down and we're going to come down towards the mat. So from here, bring the hands down onto blocks, the legs, onto the floor, wherever is accessible for you. And then from here, just take some little wiggles through the hips. You might want to step the feet a little wider. Get some little bends going through the knees. Wiggles coming side to side with the hips. From here, we're going to come back towards our downward facing dog. So step the legs back. We're going to come back into that downward facing dog straight away. So feet are about hip width distance apart, apart sorry, <laughs> ears are by the upper arms. And we're going to be drawing that belly in towards our spine. So we're drawing it in, we're drawing the ribs down. Now what I want you to do is really be creative with the legs. So feel free to take some pedals through the legs. And I really want you to get some nice waggles going on through the hips. So even move the shoulders from side to side. Maybe you want to draw some little circles. Take some bends at the knees. Really make this practice feel like you're getting some freedom through the body. 
Then from here, we are going to start to move ourselves forwards a little bit. We're going to come forwards into a plank pose. Feel free to adjust the arms and then come back into downward facing dog. And we're going to come through this a few times. Take your time, take your own pace. And as you come into these poses, really, really important to draw that belly in and draw the ribs down. We're then going to make it a little bigger. We're going to come down, send the hips down, untuck the toes, send into an upward facing dog. You're going to tuck the toes under, come back to plank, and come back to your downward facing dog with some little pedals through the feet. I'm going to move myself back because the plant got attached to my ear. <laughs> which uh, didn't feel so bad, but, you know, no one needs to be attacked by a plant as they're practicing. So from here, we're going to come back forwards, send the body forwards, hips are low. We're coming into that plank. Then we're lowering the hips all the way down and tucking the toes, coming onto the backs of the feet into your upward facing dog, looking forwards. From here, start to lift the hips, Tuck the toes back under, lift the hips all the way back up, come into your downward facing dog. Again, take some little pedals, some little bends at the knees. Really free that movement through the hips. We're going to do one more of those. So look forwards, come forwards into that plank, hips are low. Untap the toes, come onto the backs of the feet, lower the hips, looking forwards, belly still drawn in. And then from here, lift the hips a little. Tuck the toes under, come back to plank. And then you lift up the hips, coming into your downward facing dog. So from here, we're gonna get some movements coming through the legs here. If you want to, take a little pause. You can come onto your hands and knees. Just take a few breaths. You could even untuck the toes, come back into a child's pose for a moment. Just listen to your body, give your body what it needs. And if it needs to have a little breather, a little pause, it's absolutely fine. So take that time, refuel yourself and listen to your body. Even if you need to pause the video, it's absolutely fine. It needs to be a practice that's effective for you. So from your downward facing dog, we are gonna get the legs lifting up. So lifting up the right leg behind. You're gonna drop the heel down to the bottom and you're gonna draw some circles with the knees, three big circles. And then extend the leg back up and lower it down. You're then gonna set that right leg back up, draw the knee in, send it up towards the elbow, take it back behind you and lower it down. Take some little pedals through the legs. Keep breathing. And then we're gonna swap onto that left side. So again, feel free to have a little pause if you want to have a little breather and then come back to your downward facing dog. So left leg is gonna lift next. So left leg comes all the way out behind. We drop the heel down towards the bottom. And we're going to do three nice big circles with the knee. Then we're going to extend the leg again and lower it back down. Pedal through the feet for just a moment. And then send that left leg all the way back up. Draw the knee in, take it out towards the elbow. Send it back up and lower it back down. Come down onto the knees. Walk the hands in towards the hips. Take a nice a big breath in. You're gonna sweep the arms up. Breathe out, float those arms back down. Another big breath in. And back out. From here, we're gonna take the knees a little bit wider as we're sat here because we're gonna add a little bit of movement and if the knees are really, really super tight, you won't be able to get this nice little movement coming through the body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be almost circling the arms. So you're gonna bring the left arm down, you're gonna circle the right round. 
and then bring the right arm down you're gonna circle the left do the same with the right arm and the left arm we're now going to take that circle in the other direction. So this time we've been moving back, so we're going to actually start to move forwards with that movement. So what that's going to entail is coming back and forwards, back and forwards, back and forwards, back and forwards. Back and forwards. Take a breath in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, take a bend at the elbows, look up, pause for a moment, take a breath in, and back out. Another breath in, and back out. One more breath in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, float the arms back down to the sides. From here, you're gonna just twist from one side and to the other side. So we're taking the opposite hand to knee and the other hand is coming behind. And this movement's a little faster paced than we'd usually do. We're getting some really nice little rotations coming through the torso and the hips a little as well. Now let's pause coming off towards the left side. Look up and over towards that left side or over the left shoulder. Take some nice big breaths. And then come back through the center, taking it to the right side. Now looking over to the right side or all the way over that right shoulder. And then slowly coming back to the center, take a breath in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, palms together, lower them through the center. Breathe in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, lower the hands through the center. Breathe in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, lower them through the center. Bring the hands to the heart center. You're gonna take a little bow forwards, thumbs to the forehead. Namaste. So I really hope that that practice gave you an opportunity to flow and create some freedom and spaciousness within the body and the mind. It's really nice sometimes to be a bit more creative with the flows and actually step outside of the new normal postures and add some more waves of movements, different floats with the arms and the legs and different uh, movements, essentially different shapes with the body. Um, it sometimes gets into just different areas of the body than where we usually sort of practice in. So I really hope you enjoy this one. I hope it creates some more freedom and spaciousness in your body and your mind. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next on the next video. Take care guys. Bye.